Hi, my name is Bridget Harley. I'm an audiologist from the Hearing Clinic. Today we're going to be looking at some technology which can be very helpful for children with auditory processing disorder. Often children with auditory processing disorder or APD struggle to hear their teacher in the classroom. This is because they have difficulties pulling out the teacher's voice from the soup of other sounds in the classroom. Children can often become distracted by background sounds, losing the thread of what's being taught and may then struggle to focus back on what the teacher is saying. This can lead to gaps in their knowledge and certainly also auditory fatigue as they become quite tired at trying to concentrate in finding the teacher's voice in amongst the background noise. Uh, we use remote microphone technology to help a child in these situations. And remote microphone technology uses a microphone and little ear level receivers that are worn by the child. The reason for this is uh, as the teacher speaks, the speech will leave their mouth. That speech then will have to travel across the classroom to the child's eardrum. As the speech travels across the classroom, any background sounds that are in the room will be added to that teacher's voice. So by the time the voice reaches the eardrum, it's embedded in a soup of other sounds. With this technology, um, the microphone will capture the teacher's voice quite close to the mouth before the effects of background noise can interfere with the quality of the signal. The uh, speech is then sent via Bluetooth into little receivers worn by the child. That means uh, the signal, the, speech is, the teacher's speech, will always be fed in to the child's ears above any competing background sounds. This enables the child to always have a clear access to all speech sounds and therefore the whole message. Therefore, the child will not have as many gaps in their knowledge, will have less auditory fatigue, as they will not be needing to uh, try and pull that speech from the other sounds. So we're going to have a little look at how this system works. So this is a remote microphone. This is a, a directional microphone and the orientation therefore needs to be in this direction. At the back, we have a clip. This can be angled and clipped onto the shirt. Sorry, like so. Uh, we also have a lanyard, which can be very nice to use with this. And it's worn like this. It's really important that the um, microphone is approximately this distance from the mouth. Too high up and we will get distortion, too far down and we will miss some of the softer speech sounds like P, T and S. It's very important that the microphone is not knocked and tapped as this will create a loud booming sound in the child's ear and may be quite uncomfortable. The microphone is switched on with this long button over here. We press and hold it and there are light indicators at the top. Here we can see the light has gone green and we see a yellow flashing light there. That means the microphone is searching for the ear level receivers. The ear level receivers need to be switched on. This is done by holding the bottom button. Okay. The light will flash green. That's 
the other one flashing green. And once the connection is established, the yellow light will become solid. We now need to place the microphone into the correct mode for the classroom. We will again hold the long button The button has gone pink and this will now be sending the voice directly into the ear level receivers. To check, one can rub over the microphone and the child will hear a scratching sound in the earpieces. Uh, remember that when you leave the class to attend a staff meeting or lunchtime, to switch the microphone out of the uh, pink mode back to yellow so that the child does not overhear conversations that are uh, private or um, not intended for their ears. Uh, the kit uh, needs to be returned to the parent each evening so that they can be charged up. Both the ear level receivers and the microphone will need charging uh, every evening. If several teachers need to use this, please do wipe this down with an antibacterial wipe. Please do not get too much moisture in the microphone as this may damage the unit. Please do feel free to get in touch if you'd like any more advice or support in using the equipment. Thank you.